a hundred bucks. No, I do. I need somebody in the room with a hundred dollar bill. Do we have a hundred dollars in the room? You will get it back. I want to borrow it real fast. Anybody in the room? Hundred dollars if you have it. Tell the gentleman here has one. Have you seen me do this before? Okay, bring it up here. Give a big round of applause, everybody. That's a hundred dollars. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to touch the money. So join me over here. Let's see who we got. What is your name, sir? Mike. Mike good to see you, Mike. You got a hundred dollars. Let me shake your hand. Mike, where are you from? Northern Virginia. Mike, you've got a hundred dollars. You're from Virginia. Can I ask, what do you do for a living, Mike? A drug dealer, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm kidding. What do you do, Mike? Oh, you sell tires, and you got a hundred dollars. A drug dealer, ladies and gentlemen. Mike, a hundred dollars is a lot of money. Step to the side of the table here. Before I touch the money, I'm going to hand Mike a marker. Mike, I'm going to ask you to put your name in big, bold letters across the face of that $100 bill. Make it big and bold so people can see it. Now, Mike is doing this so that he knows he gets the same money back. That's very important, but also everybody in the room will recognize that money when you see it again. All right, I'll take the marker back. Oh, put the cap on. A neat assistant is a happy assistant. That's good. Now, Mike, you put your name across the face of your $100, right? All right, what Mike has just done is illegal. <laughs> it's against the law to deface government property, but we're not going to tell anyone, folks, are we? No. <laughs> Good, I'm, I'm doing a theatrical show tonight. I'm doing comedy on the right, tragedy on the left. <laughs> I'm going to hold the money up. I want you to look at the name. Remember what the name looks like. You will see this $100 in just a few moments, so embed that name in your memory. Remember it when you see it again in the back. Look at it. Remember it? Down front, there you go, over on the side over here, there you go, you having a good time, sir? Inform your face. Okay. Your All right, Mike, it's your money. I want you to hold on to it. Now, I brought a few envelopes with me tonight. Mike, I have four envelopes right here. Three of these envelopes are sealed up. Now, I'll explain about those in just a moment, but Mike, the top envelope of the stack, you'll notice, is still open. Can you guess what goes in here? Wild guess, shot in the dark. Good guess, Mike. Okay, let me show everybody. All right, we're going to take Mike's $100 bill. I'm going to fold the money once. I fold it twice. And Mike, I'm going to be very careful to leave your name on the outside of the money so you'll be able to watch it up until the last second. Because, Mike, I'm going to seal your $100 inside the envelope just like this. All right? Well, how do you do it? All right. Mike, do you see your name there? Okay. One envelope is now worth $100. The three envelopes on the tabletop, now Mike, these envelopes, they contain blank pieces of paper, the same shape and size as your folded $100 bill. So one envelope is worth a lot of money, three of them are worthless. Mike, here's where the plot thickens, because I'm going to mix these envelopes together. As I do, Mike, I want you to look me in the eye, look up here. I don't want you to tell which envelope has your money. Mike, have you lost track of your money? That was easy. Good, all right. Now, just so that we can keep track of the envelopes, I will number them. Mike, I will number these envelopes, however, in Spanish. Okay? Do you speak Spanish? Not at all. Okay, in Spanish, starting at the top with envelope number. This is Spanish. Everybody, repeat after me. Starting with envelope number. All right, we'll number these in Japanese. <laughs> In Japanese, repeat after me this time. In Japanese, repeat after me. No, after me. <laughs> Ichi. Ichi. Me. 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 Japanese. Three. <laughs> That's better in Spanish. And double knee. Now, in English, those are envelopes one, two, three, and four. Mike, we only need one envelope. We're going to eliminate three of them, and I'll leave it up to you. Mike, I want you to name a number, any number at all, between one and four. Name a number. Three. Would you hold on to envelope number three? Now, when I said that I was going to eliminate the other envelopes, I was very serious because, Mike, I'm going to take those envelopes one by one, sight unseen, and I'm going to run them through a miniature paper shredder just like this. <laughs> Ooh, the excitement is building now, Mike. Now, envelope number four is being shredded in front of your eyes. There are two envelopes still on the table, envelope number two and envelope number one. I will shred these envelopes also. But, Mike, before I 
do. You look a little concerned about this, Mike. I'll be fair, with envelope two, before I shred it, if you'd like to exchange your envelope for envelope number two, you may have free choice. All right, envelope two, then sight unseen, I shred it. And I figure, why not? Because it's not my money. <laughs> Boy, we're having some fun now, sir. <laughs> envelope number two, we shred it just like this. Mike, there's one envelope left on the tabletop. Envelope number one. Now, you are holding on to envelope. Which one do you have there, Mike? Three, this is your last chance, Mike. <laughs> Mike, you're, you're, you're sweating more than Hillary Clinton at a Trump rally right now. <laughs> Mike, I'm going to leave it up to you. This is your last chance. You can keep envelope number three, or you can exchange it for envelope number one. Or you can have what's behind the curtain there, Mike. <laughs> so what should you do? Keep it or switch? What do you say? Yeah. What do you say? Yeah. I got you guys whipped up into a coma, don't I? Mike, it's your money, your hundred dollars is on the line. What do you want to do? He's going to keep it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what a dummy. All right, the last envelope, envelope number one, I shredded. Mike, have you ever done this before? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you and I have something in common now, don't we? Step forward, Mike. You have to agree, Mike, you had the chance to select any envelope you wanted. Is that true? Mike, you also had the chance to switch with me at any time you wanted, is that correct? Yes. Mike, you've left yourself with one envelope, but free choice, envelope number four. Put three. <laughs> really? <laughs> now he's laughing, look at this guy. It could still work. All right, Mike, envelope. Before you open the envelope, Mike, I want you to look me in the eye, and I want you to ask yourself this one question. No, do you feel lucky? Do you feel lucky? Yes, I do. You should feel lucky. Because, Mike, open it up. Folks, I'm going to remind you of something. This is a one out of four shot. No matter what envelope Mike would have selected, and no matter how many times, Mike... Wait. Stop the drum roll. Stop the drum roll. That looks like it. <laughs> well, let's give Mike a big hand. <laughs> Tell him I sent you. Right? Just give him my name. 
right. You know my name? No. <laughs> David Copperfield. <laughs> but just get this envelope, explain what happened, and he'll tell you what you can do with that. <laughs> you know, if one person gets that joke, I'm a happy man. <laughs> Why am I not surprised it was you? <laughs> Look, Mike, I'll be honest, I don't, I don't have a hundred dollars to give you. You're pissed off, aren't you? But I do have another envelope. In my wallet, I have an airmail envelope that was sent here to the Norwegian Escape. The amazing thing is that this is a zippered wallet. It has a zipper running all the way around it. Inside of this wallet, Mike, there is an airmail envelope, an airmail envelope addressed to me. And the incredible thing is the envelope, you will notice, Mike, that it's sealed up. It has seals all across the entire envelope. In the lower right-hand corner of the envelope are three words. Mike, can you see what that says? Return to sender. Return to sender. Get the idea, folks. Because, <laughs> Mike, if I hold this up to the lights, do you see something in there? I do. You're starting to smile now, Mike, aren't you? <laughs> Let's, find out. Let's find out what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> drum roll. Ladies and gentlemen, folks. Hold one second, Mike. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Folks, I have never had a standing ovation <laughs> here on board the Norwegian Escape. I don't think we're going to get one tonight either. <laughs> now, if this works, it might. <laughs> she looks like a deer caught in the headlights. Huh? <laughs> it might. The drug dealer from Bristol. <laughs> if his hundred dollars is in this envelope, and if he gets his money back, and he doesn't beat the crap out of me. <laughs> and if you enjoyed the show so far, now mind you, we have one more trick after this, so stick around. But if you enjoyed the show so far, <laughs> sir, do the best you can. <laughs> Drag roll! Thanks for this, ladies and gentlemen. Believe it or not, seal inside the envelope, the inside by you and true money. Go ahead, keep that drum roll going, folks.